The work you see behind me was created by local artist Thomas Avery, who is joining me this morning. Now, he is a South Carolina native, a shipwright by trade, sailor by choice, and of course, an artist at heart. Thomas, thank you so much for being on the show with me. Thank you morning. very much, Jenna, for having me. Well, I'm glad that I have been able to catch you because you were away for a while in North Carolina, correct? Correct. That's more or less my native home and where I bought property years, 30 years ago, and do love the mountains. Do you spend a lot of time there, Thomas? It's different every year. There have been years I was there 11 months, and the last two years I've been there three weeks each. Mm -hmm. so nice it's, change. It's a good change. It's it always a good change. What brought you to the Keys, Thomas? I'm a shipwright by trade, so I do boat work and mm -hmm. renovation work on boats and build boats from scratch. But a gentleman I had done extensive work on his vessel um, tapped me on the shoulder one day and said he wanted to go sailing, and I was his choice for first mate. Mm -hmm. I spent the, re the following six years, uh, logged five years and six months, 24 hours a day, did 24,000 nautical miles, 12 countries, and crossed the Atlantic twice. Wow. With Elmer Seaman, it's, uh, the old captain I work for. He's mm -hmm. still alive and well. Mm -hmm. What an experience you had. It was uh, really, really, uh, let's say, mind expanding, so to mm -hmm, speak. Mm -hmm. it, it gives you a new look on how large the world is and mm -hmm. how small the circles can be. Okay, so that was how many years ago, Tom? That was from about 92, December of 92, until 97, 8. Okay. Well, let's get into your art right now, Thomas. I know that's your trade, but let's let's get into some of the photos that our viewers can see behind behind us right now. Let's right. specifically talk about some of your watercolor paintings, Thomas. Alrighty. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, fourteen was my first paint set. Fourteen when and you were fourteen years old. My mother got me with a paint set for Christmas. Okay. You've been doing it ever since. And I had had a few two night, three night lessons locally in school. Mm -hmm. You had some, so you mainly self-taught then. Self-taught with the influence of a lot of other artists. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Franz Van Bars and through high school for four or five years, I painted with him and took classes with him. Also did an internship with him. Mm -hmm. What are some of the subjects that you like to paint on? Somebody asked me that one day, and I counted in the one of the six galleries we show in, and uh, there were I think 27 out of 30 were water-related. Mm -hmm. From down here. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily all from down here, mm -hmm. but water related. Okay, or so you boat related or well, you're a sailor by choice, right? right? So you right. love the water, that's right. for sure. Right, right. Pisces. Okay. Also. <laughs> Do you get inspiration down here in the Keys, Thomas? I get inspiration everywhere. Just to wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. just to get to be and get to do what I love to do. Mm -hmm. um, of course, each individual piece generally has a motivator, a, mo a reason that it's inspirational. Mm -hmm. well, tell me about the piece that our viewers see right behind us right now. What was the inspiration behind that? Uh, I think that was after George or Wilma. I don't remember which, but it was after one of the major storms. And I've been in major storms uh, on a vessel even. And I wanted to capture that calmness in the center of the eye mm -hmm. of how it's just turmoil everywhere. But all of a sudden, right in that eye, when you're in that eye, it's it's as calm as it gets. Mm -hmm. And that's what that piece was. You captured it well, Thomas. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, the bulls that our viewers can see right here between us, Thomas, these were created by you. Correct. Uh, in fact, in the last couple of weeks, this is a new batch. Um, mm -hmm. I basically start with a chainsaw mm -hmm. and get the rough shape of the bowl, the rough description. I do keep the barked edge so that it is whatever the shape of the bowl itself is, um, of the tree rather. And then I work them through. So the first day I'll use the chainsaw, the next day I'll use the grinder to get the final shape and thickness, and then you get to start sanding. Mm -hmm. And some of these I'll finish down to about 4,000 grit and then spray. Wow. So the, the gloss finishes are a mirror, a very much a glass coat effect that you really see every little grain and every little... Every little thing. And now when we were talking earlier, Thomas, you said that these were created after Wilma, too. Correct. Uh, that's when I started doing this type bowl. I've turned on a wood lathe since college, but five years ago I started doing these after Wilma because they started cutting all of these old mahogany trees and stuff that had died that were 150 years old, and some of them were three feet in diameter but cut in little blocks a foot long. Mm -hmm. So I had to come up with something to do with them. I couldn't mm -hmm. stand to see the the product, that, that material, to just go to the landfill. Right. And uh, that's what started me doing these hand-shaped bowls. That's, that's a great idea. How many have you done since? 
235, 235. and that's not counting the 20 this batch is part of. So yeah. when I finish this batch, it'll be more like 255 wow. in five years. Wow. Thomas. Now, where can we find your work at? I'm at the Guildhall Gallery at 614 Duval. Been there for almost 20 years. I'm at the Key West Art Center in uh, 301 Front Street. I'm in the Yon George Interior Design Shop, which is also fixing to be partial with Miss Deborah Butler. Mm -hmm. um, she's fixing to be the new manager there, or already is the manager. Uh, also, the uh, Artist in Paradise Gallery in Big Pine mm -hmm. in the Winn Dixie Shopping Center. Mm -hmm and also in Cindy's Seam Shop on uh, Truman, okay. Truman Avenue. Wonderful. Do you have a favorite thing, Thomas? What do you prefer the most? Watercolor bowls? What is it? Just getting to produce art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every piece is the favorite piece when I finish it, and mm -hmm. then it's another one. <laughs> well, they're beautiful. Dining room tables, paintings. I love all of it. Well, you, you do create beautiful pieces. Well, thank Thomas. you very much. Thomas, thank you for being on the show this morning, sharing your work with our viewers. If they want more information on Thomas, just check out his website on the bottom of the screen. Give him a ring if you'd like. Thank you again. I'll be right much. back after these messages. Stay with me.